I'm Nick. I'm Taylor. And this is Budget Bill Garage. All right. All right, so the last episode, we got a few things done, but we didn't actually cross anything off. Um, we did manage to add fuel to get it started. We put in the battery cables, hot wired it. Um, I believe we showed you the switches already. The oil pressure, we did crank it. We did have oil pressure and we did start it. Today, we're gonna be worried about the simple things gonna stop us from actually driving the car. Um, the brakes. I know we have a brake leak. I will fix that stupid thing, and that way it's somewhat safe. We're only trying to go around the block. We're not trying to really drive it, drive it, but we need something because it won't stop at all right now. Um, new tires, that's not gonna happen. Bolt-in battery, yeah, we, we kind of did that. It's, it's in, it's bolted, it's fine. Gas can embed or maybe duct taped somewhere on the frame or something. We will make some gas go into this thing, a gallon or two is all we really need. And power steering, we're gonna put power steering in it since the fenders are off right now. It'll be easier to do it now. Um, we'll make some brackets for that or something. And that's pretty much what we're doing today. And then drive it. Cool. All right, so we wanted to take a minute to show you a little bit of the interior of the car. Um, it's really classy. So what we have here is the carpet uh, is definitely pulled out of somebody's probably bedroom. Um, so it's got ash all over it. It smells of cigarettes, not strongly, but enough. Um, in fact, we're lucky enough to have some 10 year old cigarettes in here and I don't know, who knows what in there, but it's nasty. Uh, so that's gonna need to be cleaned. Uh, the steering wheel is handmade maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, what are we keeping this thing on here? It's pretty badass, actually. I don't know. All right, so this nifty switch here actually sends power to the coil and turns on this nifty light here, so we're good to go. And this switch here was actually uh, already installed when we bought the car, so this is actually wired to the starter. Seats are grade A. They're, they've got this really nice like uh, indentation to where it really sucks in your ass. Um, I think that's pretty much, that pretty much covers it. With There's definitely a brake leak. You can see it here because it's all corroded and nasty. This is all the paint flaking off because the brake fluid eats through it. So anytime you're looking for a leak, all of this right here is a dead indicator that it's obviously this wheel. The other wheels look fine. You can see all the nasty grittiness from all the fluid. So it actually has a bad leak, which is why we have no brake pressure. And that was bad. You know what else I needed? So. This is the brake shoe material. Traditionally, it is connected. Much like that. But ours is broken. <laughs> so we're gonna have to rebuild this. The wheel cylinder is dead anyways. Um, drum brakes aren't as hard as most people think. I think a lot of people are intimidated by them, but like they're actually not too complicated. Really the best thing you can do is just take pictures of every single angle, you know? That way, if you do forget how they go together, this will help you out when you just look it up. Also, if you do one side at a time, so you can go back and look at the other side. A couple of different tools help you. This is a brake tool. It's awesome, I forget what it's called, but this helps you pop off all those little springs. You just rotate them and pop them off. These are essential, you can buy them anywhere. They're pretty cheap. Get one.
There we go, that's what was leaking. You see all that nasty, watery, well, not watery, but brake fluid. You shouldn't see any of that. It should be dry like that side. So that's where we're leaking from. There we go. Once you set that in place, you can kind of move things around a bit. Hopefully this master cylinder is not bad too. I mean, I know it is bad, but hopefully it lasts long enough for us to fucking drive it for a second. Like, for sure it is bad, I just. All right, now open it. There it goes. Oh, dude, awesome. There's a fat clog. It's all gross. Do it again. No wonder. All right, hold it. Oh, she's flowing now. All right, one more time. I said, fuck it. Let's run it. Hold her up. All right. Thanks, noob noob. <laughs> All right, so this is our power steering pump. Um, it we robbed it off another engine, so it had this bracket, which didn't fit our engine, obviously. Um, so we made these bad boys, and we're going to throw it on right now. Neat. At the bottom, jean, jean, boots with the fur. Oops, sorry. What? Uh, there's nothing for this to fucking... Oh yeah, I knew that. Oh, okay, we need a nut. See? Try that. First, if you can, and then the nut. <whistles> Alright, go ahead and pull it. Be oh, that's bad. The way it's pointing directly into that. That's why I wanted a shorter belt, so it wouldn't point in that angle. Because it's going to just slip on? It's... I just hope it doesn't... I'm hoping it doesn't grab or interfere at all. It's gonna, but we'll leave it long and we'll just make it work for now. And then we'll come back and get a smaller belt and suck this whole thing that way so it's, there's more clearance here. Yeah, so this used to be where the power steering lines went and then he blocked it off. So he didn't have to run it for whatever reason he decided, don't you? So you drove a car without power steering? Yep. It's fine if you just drag racing, but something tells me this thing never saw a drag strip. But then again, who knows? Oh, fuck. No, look. I don't know if you can see that. It's all broken on the inside. Oh, that's bad. It is bad. All shattered in there. And what that does is it goes on this to make a perfect seal. See how it's all flared like that? So that'll probably leak, which is probably why you blocked it off, actually. That's okay, if, even if it leaks for now, it'll be all right later. This, obviously short, but it's so close to this. Once we get a smaller belt, we'll be able to push this whole thing forward. It'll clear it, and then we'll cut this to a proper length. Oh, shit. Overflow? Yeah, my bad. It's alright. If I keep doing this, it might go down still. <laughs> Just resting it right there, huh? Somehow. Somehow. See, yes. <laughs> but yes, that's more or less what I was thinking. You see?
I'd love to say that's good, but it's really not. <laughs> it's like it's really, really not. You know, it's like gonna really bum you out. We're not gonna drive this. I don't think we have enough fuel hose <laughs> to come over to the other side of the car. All right, so here's the issue. Um, first of all, our gas tank was came in the mail broken, so we need to get a rig uh, gas can onto here, um, which we did successfully, although the gas hose that we have is not long enough without the radiator blade chopping it into pieces and blowing us all up. So we might have to call it quits for tonight, which we are not happy about. <sighs> Nick's okay with it though. <laughs> Nick's tired of this shit. <laughs> That's our rat. Got another idea. <laughs> One more idea. Let's see it, folks. I think we're gonna need one more of these zip ties. You don't make chains, you make a little, you make a little ring out of them. All right, so we've been trying. Oh, this will fit. And we found a fuel filter. This is our only hope. Pretty much. That we managed to hose clamp onto this line, which is too short. However, we have another line. <laughs> that we're going to also attach to the fuel filter and then lead it into the gas tank. And hopefully drive it around the block. It's getting a little pathetic. Mine slipped wired on, dude. What was your problem? <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm fucking working on it. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> 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 fucking proud of you. Can you get this? <laughs> what fucking, do you want from I'm me? I'm working all hard, dude. You're making like fucking arts and crafts over here. <laughs> I'm running a fuel line. Okay. <laughs> I'm running the sketchiest fuel line known to man. This is the sketchiest thing. This literally looks like a car bomb. It's fucking feels like a car bomb. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing this. Don't do this at home, for real. For real. If we weren't just like gently going around the block, I'd be like, seriously, do not do this. If the reason we can't drive this is because you lost the fucking keys, Check our pockets before we get out. Oh, there he is. Alright. This thing is just leaking every fucking fluid known to man. Alright. Fire extinguishers over here. Where's Hulk? Uh, Nobody stand in front or in back of this piece of shit. It's not getting any gas. Hit it with some more starting fluid. I just need it long enough to pick up fuel from the tank. Ah, oh, that's good. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna go get a different can of gas. Come this far, we're not gonna stop now. Whoa. That was pretty awesome. Ooh. That was even more awesome. I think we should probably Damn it. Call it quits, man. Yeah. I think it's getting any fuel. You know why it's not getting any fuel? 
Because the fuel, fuel, the fuel that pump. fuel filters one way, and you put that end on the wrong end. <laughs> I noticed it earlier, but I don't say anything because you worked so hard for it. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. I'll show you right now. Yeah. Unfortunately, we failed. <laughs> this did not happen. Fail. We did, however, do the power steering, the brakes, ish. I think they're good. You don't even really know until we actually try it, but they seem okay. Uh, the gas can and the bed thing, we, we put it up here. It it more or less worked. It took a lot longer than it should have because we didn't have enough, you know, lot, you saw it. We got everything we needed done besides what the goal was in the end. Um, you want to talk about a little bit about how you, uh, what happened there? Oh, the fireball? <laughs> talk about the fireball. Ah. Uh... Hopefully though, next time we'll get it on and get it driving, get it upgraded. Cool. I think we're done here. Yep. All right. This is Taylor from Budget Build Garage. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.